have the first talk by Father Joby, Assistant Director, Divine Retreat Center, Colombo. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Let's close our eyes for a moment. As we enter into these moments where the Lord is talking unto us. Say a prayer for me. For more and more anointing of the Holy Spirit. Nothing that is of me affect what the Lord wants to tell us. Let the power of the Holy Spirit come upon his minister. And let there be the word of God flowing to each one of us, to our body, to our mind and to our soul. Bringing in healing, consolation and power, of, power and anointing of the Lord upon us. We also say a prayer for our brother, our sister next to us here in this retreat hall, in this place of God who have come here to receive the word of God and receive the touch of the Lord. So much of hope we have in our heart, with a heart full of faith we are sitting here. Say a prayer, Lord if there is any little weakness in our faith, let the, your word strengthen and let your word complete our faith. We pray for an increase of faith in my brother, my sister here with me in this retreat hall. I also say a prayer of consecration for yourselves. Everything that you are going through, Everything that you have brought with you here as a prayer intention, not just for you alone, for your family, for your distant relatives, all kinds of prayers that is there in your heart and all those prayers that in you intend to write down and offer here in the petition box, also all the prayer intentions that you would ask for a holy mass, offer all those intentions and consecrate yourselves and all your prayer intentions to the Lord now. Also everything that is part of this retreat, the atmosphere, the climate, the instruments we use, the places we tread, amenities we use, the food, water, everything let us offer unto the Lord. I pray, you say a prayer of consecration, Lord, let there not be anything that your right hand has not touched. Everything that comes to us, every thought, where our imaginations take us, the words that we speak with each other, the activities that we have here, the things we do, concerns that is in our heart, all kinds of anxieties and brokenness that is there within me, all my physical sickness, I consecrate myself to you. Lord, let there not be anything that your right hand has not touched. Touch, heal, protect and guard and guide us, Lord. O Blessed Mother, intercede and pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst the women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 The Word of God says, Psalms 107 verses 19. Psalms 107 verses 19. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and He delivered them from their distress. He sent forth his word and healed them and delivered them from destruction. Shall we all repeat and pray? Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble and he saved them from their distress. Verse 20. Okay. 
he sent for this word and healed them he rescued them from the grave praise the lord hallelujah he sent forth his word and healed them the word of god has healing power in it and in the gospel according to saint matthew chapter 8 where we read about that centurion that centurion was asking the lord only one thing that centurion said jesus we are i am not worthy to have you in my home under my under my roof and what does what does he want he just wants only one thing you say the word and my servant shall be healed praise the lord lord jesus you just say the word and my servant shall be healed because your word has got power your word heals and your word has obedience to command it to everything so your word commands and everything obeys praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah in during the time of world war 2 there was a preacher a pastor he was not a pastor then but uh, his name was uh, his name is derek prince i do not know whether he have heard of him i read about him years and years ago so derek prince he was at the t- stage of his conversion he was um, he was born in india and then he was working with british military during the world war 2 but he had a chronic um the chronic skin disease chronic skin disease so 12 months he has been he has been with the uh, military but because of the illness he could not serve so he was taken into an egyptian military hospital and he is being treated there so that was the first days of his conversion after coming to know jesus but still serving in the uh, military so he was in the hospital and he was he you know he got to read bible know about jesus praying to jesus so some insight that came to his mind was the word of god is healing power has healing power praise the lord the word of god is a medicine so he just you know thinking in his heart how does the the, the doctors administer medicine we all kind of take medicines in uh, particular times after each meal right one tablet three times a day you know something like that they have a pattern doctors might know that many most of the time one tablet after each meal three times a day praise the lord hallelujah so he thought okay word of god is a medicine it has healing power so why don't i take word of god as medicine in my life and he was praying about it and he got a word of god for him and that word of god was romans chapter 10 verse 17 romans 10 17 the word of god reads so faith comes from what is heard and what is heard comes by the preaching of christ praise the lord praise the lord so faith is what jesus asked everyone before healing your faith has healed you well so i'll i'll come to that so faith comes from hearing about jesus and the message is heard through the word of christ so he started to preach this word to himself because there was nobody else to preach about jesus to him and he is just coming to know of jesus so every day after the breakfast he will read this word of god couple of times to him after lunch he will read this word of god couple of times to him and along with that he is continuing to read the word of god every day and he says in 3 months time 3 months time 12 months he had all the treatment did not cure but 3 months time he was saying because of the medicine of the word of god he was completely healed praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah in our world also the lord starts to heal sending his word and not only that when i was attending sorry i was uh, the assistant director in one of the first retreat centers uh, in my career in my my preaching ministry in delhi so one of the first days i was there and their main ministry was the first saturday night vigil so many people as much as 5000 people come for that retreat so it's also a translation so i was 
preaching starting to preach there so one of the retreats in the first one of the first retreats a nun came she is uh, she has done the first profession and waiting for the final profession so she came there and she asked for a healing prayer so the problem was she is struggling with sleep praise the lord how many of you are struggling with sleep here ah very good mm, nice nice sleep may god bless you to sleep throughout my session at least that praise the lord your problem basically is you don't get sleep right but her problem was different too much sleep it's not see sometimes it is it is like that i also struggled with too much sleep still struggling because uh, when we were in the seminary and all that i thought 24 hours is not enough to sleep all night we can sleep and after that we can continue to sleep in the chapel if we come for the prayer the only times we don't sleep is the time we eat and play the rest of the time we can sleep so nice can you sleep standing without falling i can do that can you sleep kneeling down with at fall, not falling i can do that praise the lord cuz 12 hours training included that as well for me so her problem was that any time she goes to study something she falls asleep i know you also have that any time she goes into the chapel and starts the prayer in 5 minutes time she got sleep so she is asking father i want to be cured because that is affecting her vocation so she asked father can you pray over me and help me to come out i simply told her a word of god that time it came to my mind i gave a word of god that was um, jeremiah chapter 17 verses 14 jeremiah 17 14 and 17 14 was heal me o lord that i may be healed save me o lord that i may be saved you are my praise you are my salvation that was the word of god i gave that word of god and i went my way she also went and next retreat she came and she told me father it's working as to what what father don't you remember i came for the prayer and uh, sleep or oh, then i thought okay sleep that strikes so i asked her what word of god did i give you to pray she told me this word of god and to my surprise she said you know sometimes when we give the word of god i just mix up so i gave her first jeremiah 1417 not 1714 Ah, now you all are booking, looking the Bible. No, no, Jeremiah. It's seventeen fourteen, but I gave fourteen seventeen. Sometimes I get mixed up. And she said, "Father, when you gave me, you mixed up and you gave me correctly later." So she remembers all that, and this is my daily thing. So I don't remember. Praise the Lord. So she said that word of God, and couple of times she came and she told me, "Father, it's working. It's working. It's working." And she said and told me, "Father, it's completely gone. Now I sleep only when I want to sleep." Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So word of God has healing in it. Word of God. When we look at the healing miracles, healing ministry of Jesus, something that is interesting to me is healing is most of the healing is part of his preaching ministry. Praise the Lord. Jesus preaches the word first then follows the healing. We shall read a couple of word of God. Um Matthew chapter 4 verses 23 and 24 Matthew 4 23 and 24 3 24 Jesus starts his ministry and we read and he went about all Galilee teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every infirmity among the people shall we read it all together we are repeating word of god jesus went throughout galilee teaching in their synagogues preaching the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness you look at uh, of among the people so you look at the order what precedes healing jesus preaches teaches and heals praise the lord So he preaches to them the word of God 
then flows the healing into the people we read the same kind of word of god the same almost the same word of god in matthew 9:35 matthew 9:35 we read and jesus went about all the cities and villages teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every infirmity praise the lord hallelujah so jesus follows and maybe one more word of god we read luke chapter 4 verses 18 and 19 that is a magnifica a magna carta of jesus he proclaims his ministry from isaiah 61 1 to 3 the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor he has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind set the liberty set at liberty those who are oppressed to proclaim the acceptable year of the lord praise the lord so the spirit of the lord is upon me to proclaim good news to the poor so word of god preaching precedes healing in the ministry of jesus preaching precedes the healing ministry the miracles of jesus because the word of god is going to the people and heals the people hallelujah hallelujah and that is where we read that centurion's faith jesus you say the word and my servant shall be healed and he says the reason for it what is the reason he says verse 8 uh, chapter 8 verses 9 uh, we shall read chapter 8 verses 9 matthew 8 9 okay it's better i for i am a man under authority with soldiers under me and i say and i say to one go and he goes and to another come and he comes and to my slave do this and he does it praise the lord hallelujah jesus says say the word and my servant shall be healed because i also am under authority and i have soldiers under me if i say to one go he goes if i say to one come he comes in the same way jesus the same way jesus everything is under your authority and power praise the lord everything is your under authority is under your authority and power if you say your word to one go it goes if you say go away and that goes and jesus healed so many with the word those who were affected with evil spirits he says commands so the centurion is saying jesus you command from here you say the word from here and the word has so much of meaning we'll recollect that we we'll re- uh, reflect on that you say the word and my servant shall be healed because the disease that is affecting my servant is under your authority and command praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah so the word of god has healing and sends the word and heals everyone it has happened in the past it is happening now with us and it will happen with us and one more thing as i said every the preaching the ministry of jesus when he was on the earth all the healing ministry was preceded with his preaching ministry now you look at the usual uh, arrangement of our prayer day so today we are having a prayer day so this prayer day what is the first session here is it the adoration adoration is at the end eucharist is before noon so three preaching sessions followed by the healing adoration and eucharist in between praise the lord hallelujah the word of god the sacrament and adoration so we are also aligning our ministry to the ministry of jesus when he was doing his preaching and healing on the earth praise the lord hallelujah so in other words feel that you are also being part of the ministry that jesus established on the earth 
praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus so jesus preaches then the healing follows in the same way the word of god has healing power in it healing power in it why why when we repeat the word of god when we ask the lord to heal us sending his word why that healing takes place it is first thing because he the word of god connects us to god uh, you know in a direct way connects us to god and connects us to heaven praise the lord because the word of god connects us to heaven very uh, you know uh, in a direct way because the word of god that we pray that we have access to is jesus himself praise the lord hallelujah 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 today as we live on the earth one of the ways how jesus is present to us how we can feel the presence of jesus is word of god have you heard of this um, uh, this uh, letter uh, or um, uh, papal encyclical or oh, a document called sacrosanctum concilium no on the on the constitution of the sacred liturgy that's the uh, that's about the eucharist in that there are four media of presence of jesus among us today four ways how jesus is present one of them uh, i'll say the all four of them the first one is the word of god second is the minister anointed and the third the eucharistic species of the body and blood of christ and the fourth one is the people gathered in the faith of jesus praise the lord when two or three are gathered in my name i am there in their midst so the people the word of god the eucharistic species and the minister these are the four media of presence among us today in the world and that word of god connects us to the lord so directly because the word of god has come down from heaven to us praise the lord john chapter 1 verses 14 the word became flesh and dwelt among us praise the lord hallelujah psalms 119 verses 89 psalms 119 verses 89 psalms 119 verses 89 we read lord your word is fir- firmly fixed in heavens the word of god says forever o lord your word is firmly fixed in heavens so when we take the word of god when we read the word of god we repeat the word of god we trust in the word of god we are getting connected to the heaven where the word is firmly fixed and that word came down into heaven that is why when we repeat and pray the word of god there is healing or in other words the healing has its standing in the word of god praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah the word of god reminds and brings to us the memory and also the the uh, presence of jesus in us because jesus himself is the word of god praise the lord hallelujah and secondly why when we read that word of god when why there is healing coming to us because when we read the word of god when we pray the word of god we are praying that promise of god for healing unto us the promise that the lord has given to us the, the lord has uh, promised us his healing so we are reminding our lord about the promises that he has given us praise the lord hallelujah because when we repeat and pray the word of god we are reminding ourselves and reminding our lord about the promise that he has given unto us so you know when we uh, uh, remind somebody who has given your promise Uh, you will you know kind of that person will get that inspiration it's not about god alone but get some inspiration to get it done right i remember a couple of days ago uh, was the final of a cricket match so we both of us were sitting together and watching little bit so the other priest was not much interested in it but so we were sitting together and watching and i was so taken up by the starting of the match and um, 
uh, I commented he will score 50 so the other priest immediately said no he will not score even 5 ok so what is the next step ok if he scores 50 what I will buy you this so food I will buy you this and he said if he doesn't score 50 and if he doesn't score, score 5 I will buy you this so immediately we had a little contest and unfortunately unfortunately because one unfortunate the other one is fortunate he didn't score 50 so who lost I lost and you know when when we lose we go into that's how gambling takes place when you lose once you bet for the next so I said this team will win I said no so he said the opposite at the end who lost I lost praise the Lord so the, the, the contest was such a way that you will buy the food for that person but, and that person will be eating and you have to sit through. You cannot eat. So he will be eating, you have to sit through. Okay, I said, okay, that's alright, no problem. And that contest was over, that night is over, the next day morning I didn't give my face to him, I went off. But one day he is sending me a text message, when are you going to buy this to me? <laughs> I had completely forgotten about it. So that you know, when you ignore and ignore and ignore, that might forget and that's okay. But he asked me, when are you going to buy this? I said, whenever you want. That's the best answer, whenever you want. So that day over, after two days he's texting me again, when are you buying this? <laughs> now I feel obliged. In the beginning I was thinking, okay, it was just a fun and ignore and le two times he asked. Was he so hungry? I do not know. But he asked. And I said, okay, now I am feeling obliged because I made that promise. Same way, not even the same way, but our God is faithful to his promise. You know, in, in the human situation I want to forget it, but that guy is reminding and reminding, reminding. But God is the other way around. He is always faithful. Even if I forget the promise he has made, he remembers all the promise, right? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So when we take the word of God and repeat and pray, what happens is the Lord will shower his blessing upon us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Couple of promises we shall read. Couple of promises. Jeremiah chapter 33 verses 6. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 6 Behold I will bring to it health and healing and I will heal them and reveal to them abundance of prosperity and security Praise the Lord Shall we repeat and pray I am going to bring it recovery and healing I will heal them and reveal to them abundance of prosperity and security we read jeremiah chapter 30 verses 17 chapter 30 verses 17 for i will restore health to you and your wounds i will heal says the lord because they have called you an outcast it is zion for whom no one cares shall we read that word of god for i will restore health to you and your wounds I will heal, says the Lord. Because they have called you an outcast. It is Zion. No one cares for her. Praise the Lord. The Lord reminds us that I will bring healing to you. We read uh, Exodus chapter 16 verses 26. Exodus 15, 26. Exodus 15, 26. The Lord says, For I am the Lord who heals. 15, 26. For I am the Lord, your healer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We read Psalms 41.3. Some of the word of God, you can write it down. These are word of God's of healing of the Lord. So we shall read that word of God 41.3. Psalms 41.3. The Lord says, The Lord sustains him on his sickbed in his illness. You heal all his infirmities. Shall we read that? 
the lord sustains them on their sick bed in their illness you sus you heal all their infirmities psalms 147 verses 3 psalms 147 verses 3 the lord says he heals the broken hearted and binds up their wounds he heals the broken hearted and binds up the wound isaiah 41:10 isaiah 41:10 Isaiah 41:10 we shall read 8 uh, sorry yeah Isaiah 41:10 fear not for i am with you do not be afraid for i am your god i will strengthen you i will help you i will uphold you with my victorious right hand once again do not fear for i am with you do not be afraid for i am your god i will strengthen you i will help you i will uphold you with my victorious right hand book of chronicles chapter second book of chronicles chapter 7 verses 14 and 15 second book of chronicles chapter 7 verses 14 and 15 you can if you would like to write down you can write them down second book of chronicles chapter 7 verses 14 and 15 we read if my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then i will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to their prayer that is made in this place hallelujah it's a prayer attached it's a promise attached to the place we pray as well the lord has chosen so when you turn i will hear their prayers and i will i will hear them hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land praise the lord isaiah 57 18 and 19 isaiah 57 18 and 19 isaiah 57 18 and 19 we read i have seen his ways but i will heal them i will lead them and repay them with comfort creating for their mourners the fruit of the lip shall we read it's okay uh, 7 18 fifty 18 i have seen their ways but i will heal them i will lead them and repay them with comfort creating for their mourners the fruit of the lips so many word of god for us again we shall read uh, two more word of god that is Psalm 30 verses 2 Psalm 30 verses 2 Psalms 30 verses 2 O Lord my God I cry to you for help and you have healed me O Lord my God I cry to you for help and you have healed me Psalm 103 verses 2 to 4 Psalm 103 verses 2 to 4 The word of God says, "Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. Who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy." Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! So you can even find more and more promises in the word of healing that the Lord sends unto us. The Lord heals his people with word and that word we can read so many healing miracles of the Lord and word of healing for us. Promises of the Lord's healing unto us. So when we repeat that word of God, when we pray that word of God, we are connecting ourselves and making ourselves receptive tickle of that promises of the lord hallelujah 
Hallelujah. So, so many properties that we have, uh, what we know about the word of God and one of them is along with healing it is sanctification so when we repeat the word of god when we pray the word of god we are being sanctified and we are made receptacle of that word that that healing the word brings in so repeat the word and pray because the word of god uh, brings in healing to all of us hallelujah hallelujah so the first thing the word of god connects us to god that brings the presence of the Lord for us because the word of God is, uh, is firmly, uh, firmly connected, firmly uh, you know, in the heavens. And secondly, we are praying the promise of God. We are repeating the promise of God, sanctifying us and making us receptacle of that same promises the Lord has made unto us. And again, when we pray the word of God, we are proclaiming our faith in the Lord. We are proclaiming our faith in the Lord. Because one thing Jesus talks about while healing, he says, your faith has made you well. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is by our faith that we receive the word, and that by faith that word brings in the fruits of healing unto us. That is where when we read about that centurion's healing, centurion's uh, servant's healing, he says, I, uh, I proclaim that your word has healing and send that word and I trust in your word and your power. Hallelujah. So when we pray that word of God, we are proclaiming our faith in the Lord, our faith and trust in the Lord. So we need to, when we pray the word of God, we are proclaiming our faith, our trust in the Lord. And that is where the, the, oh, the, 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 the healing springs from the word of God. And again, when we pray that word of God, we are committing ourselves to the obedience of the word of God. Lord, I am ready to obey your word. Because when we read in the gospels about the miracles of healing, we can see Jesus tells them to do something and they obey and that brings in a complete healing for example uh, jesus command uh, jesus commands the man uh, uh, john chapter 5 at the uh, at the pool of bethsaida that man who was affected 38 years with uh, paralyzed for 38 years jesus says take up your mat and walk if he was ready oh i am not ready to take up you said but what did he say what did he do got up took the mat and walked. Praise the Lord. So it is to the obedience of the word that brings in healing. It is not just about hearing that word. There is an action coming from my side. There is something that I do, my obedience. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When I am ready to listen to that word, when I am ready to repeat and pray that word of God, yet I am not ready to obey that word of God, the healing may not take place. We have a beautiful example from the Old Testament, Second Kings, where uh, Naman uh, chapter five, where Naman comes for healing. So uh, um, Elisha says, Naman, go and dip yourself seven times in the river Jordan. Did he obey that? He heard everything, right? He heard everything. He came with that desire to be healed. He knew that he could heal. But he was not ready to obey the word. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So obedience to the word is what brings healing. So healing has standing in the word of God. At the same time it commands our obedience to that word as well. So when the Lord commands, when we repeat the word of God, we pray that word of God with the disposition to obey the word of God. Hallelujah. 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 That is where that uh, centurion says, I also am under the authority. And everything is under your authority. Be it, uh, be it the uh, natural forces, 
it is under your authority that is what we see in the gospel according to saint mark chapter 4 jesus calms the storm and the sea by his word he brings peace to everyone be still and everything obeys him so we also place our sickness under the obedience to the word of god so I obey and I believe that everything obeys to the word of God. It is, where, it is there that the word of God brings in healing unto us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. So the word of God, the, the healing that we pray today has the standing in the word of God. Because he sent his word and healed. And that promise fulfilled in the new testament so evidently the word became flesh and dwelt among them and jesus went about healing everyone praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah so in the old testament and in the new testament there is that healing complete healing take place and promises of healing by the word of god for us so when we pray that word of God, we are praying in the presence of Jesus. We are praying with the power of Jesus. We are reminding ourselves the promise of Jesus and becoming receptacle by cleansing ourselves by the word of God, receptacles of his healing. And again, we are commending ourselves to the obedience to the word of God and proclaiming trust and faith in the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, my question is, do you believe that the word of God has healing power? Yes. Do you believe? Yes. Do you believe? Yes. Do you trust in the word of God? Yes. Do you believe in the promises of the word of God? Yes. Then the healing would come upon us because he promised us that he would send his word and heal all of us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So repeat and pray the word of God for healing our life. And one more word of God. Uh, I remember once somebody came for a problem, came with a problem with their eyes, and then uh, immediately I got a word of God to pray for them. Yeah. Um, so somebody came with a problem with their eyes, and I was praying for them. I'm reminded of one word of God, that one more word of God, I, uh, I tell you that a promise of his healing, Revelation chapter 3 verses 18 and 19, 18. So uh, Revelation chapter 3 verses 18. Therefore I counsel you to buy from me gold refined by fire that you may be rich and white garments to clothe you to keep the shame of your nakedness from being seen and salve to anoint your eyes that you may see so repeated that word of god and came to me and told father there is a change taking place because this is the these are the promises and full of power of the lord so when we pray that word of god we will surely see the the power of the lord working miracles and healing in us praise the lord hallelujah so let's close our eyes for a moment to say a prayer from our heart Lord, in the scriptures, you promised that you would send your word and heal your people. Lord, we proclaim and acknowledge that we belong to your people for we believe in you. You have given us your word, promising us healing, promising us well-being promising us health and prosperity. Lord, we surrender our body, mind and soul unto you. Especially all that we go through now. Every pain, weakness, sickness in our body, mind and soul. By the power of your word and your promises, we pray, Lord, have mercy on us. Touch us and heal us. 
we believe in the power of your word let your promises of healing come to us and be fulfilled in us oh blessed mother intercede and pray with us hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end praise the lord praise the lord god bless you